Hello. This is my very first live YouTube video. So welcome, welcome. My name is Jennifer Castillo and I am a presenter with Unique. Uh, so once you're here, say hello. I can read comments, I believe. And we're gonna do a Valentine's Day look. I picked up these cute little ears at Claire's. Um, and we're gonna do like a smoky, uh, smoky eye with a red, uh, smoky bottom eye or lower lash line look. So stay tuned for some fun. I'm gonna start off this look by priming my face first. I'm gonna get some uh, brushes out here that I know I'm gonna need. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. All right, so first things first, we're gonna do some primer here. Let me see. I'm gonna try to adjust this a little bit better. So hopefully you guys got a good view here and the lighting is all right. If you jump on, please let me know if the lighting's okay. I'm gonna tie my hair back, actually because with all the lights, it gets kind of hot. So, we'll just put it in somewhat of a mom bun. Maybe I'll take these off for now too, actually. I don't want it to look like I have devil horns on. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do, it's up and coming, just starting out with the YouTube channel and I plan on doing a bunch of different stuff so makeup tutorials uh, vlogs if you're not following me on Facebook go follow me on Facebook uh, it's www.facebook.com slash faithfully Jen and I do live videos over there as well those are all mostly makeup videos So here we go, we're starting off with some primer. All of these products you can actually shop on my website. It is in the banner of my YouTube channel, so it's www.lash-bash.com. So if you see anything you like that I'm using, feel free to head on over there and grab something. So that was our Touch Glorious uh, Face and Eye Primer. And then for my uh, foundation application, I'm actually gonna be doing a mix of my BB Flawless and my Skin Perfecting Concealer. The BB Cream gives like a dewy finish, and so we're gonna have this little uh, glowy, like glow from within Valentine's Day look. And I like to mix in the concealer because the concealer is a full coverage concealer. So I just mix those two together in the back of my hand. And then kind of place little dots everywhere on the face. And then we'll blend in with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. Hopefully everyone's having a good Friday night. I'm just at home. The mom life. <clears throat> so I'm gonna spray my beauty blender with a little bit of rose water. Rose water is really nice for people who tend to have like red skin or um, dry skin as well because it actually acts as like a moisturizer. So all I'm doing now is just blending in the foundation. And I can go back in and spot treat if there's any places that need extra coverage. Okay. 
And again, this is my first time doing a live on YouTube. So when you pop in, say hello. I could get an idea of who's watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do have some other videos up. I do vlogging. Uh, and my daughter also vlogs. So check out her channel, Whatever Lena. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to take my loose powder foundation in the color Velour. This is by Unique. And this is going to just go everywhere. Blend it in with my foundation concealer brush. The loose powder concealer does give a pretty good... Uh, finish and it blends really nicely it does provide about like a sheer to medium coverage definitely not a full coverage but that's why I add the concealer into my foundation because I like a fuller coverage Let's see if I can fix this um, camera so I can get a little bit more zoomed in. There we go. <clears throat> so next I'd like to apply my Beachfront Bronzer, which is this right here. This is in the color Malibu. And I just use this to do some bronze touring. And I'm using the bronzer for contouring today because, again, this is like a glow from within makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. So the bronzer has some shimmer in it, which would be perfect for this look. There we go. It's very blendable. Now I'm going to take my blush in the color Sweet, which is this soft rose color right here. It's just a soft, like, rose pink. It's very pretty, very light and subtle. And I'll just take a little bit of that and put it right on the apple of my cheeks. And then I like to pull it up. Just like so. And I'm going to move right into my brows. And today for my brows, I typically use my Brow Obsession palette. But today I'm going to go with a cream eyeshadow. Splurge cream eyeshadow in the color Faithful. It's a light brown. I just got to find it here. So here's the Faithful Cream Eyeshadow. It's like a medium brown or a ch milk chocolate brown. I'm using the uh, liner shader brush. So this is the liner side. And then I'm just gonna um, wipe it right through my brows here. First I do it like an outline.
The Brow Obsession Palette is um, in our brow powders, actually. And this is creamier, so this is going to give you like a more, um, I guess, dramatic look. There we go, just really easy. I love this shade, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna do the um, other side, same thing. So this is my first time doing a YouTube live and it's so different. I can't tell like what's going on in it or if anything at all is going on. Because typically I do Facebook lives. So this is really different. Give me just a second. Alright, so brows are finished and then what I like to do after I have my brows finished is just take my uh, foundation brush and then I just go over it a little bit with the powder I used and it kind of sets the brows there <laughs> for the rest of the day. Should I put on my little Valentine's Day ears? How does it look? They're little roses. I thought it was cute. I want to do like a Spanish uh, look with this one of these days. We'll see. So now let's get into the, um, the eyeshadow. First, I'm going to set my eyes with my eye primer here. This is the eye primer uh, by Unique. A little bit goes a long way. So I just take about this much on my finger for both eyes. And I go in, and this is going to help keep your eyeshadow from creasing on you. And then it's also going to make your colors of your eyeshadow a little more vibrant. And it's also going to hold your eyeshadows in place throughout the day. So if you ever have eyeshadows that crease on you, or your eyeshadow seems to not want to last you throughout the day, or you're just not getting a good color payoff, try adding an eye primer before applying your shadows. And then here's a little tip for you. If you have really large pores in any area that you just want to um, fill in and take away some of that like large pore look, use the eye primer. It seeps in and creates a really good like smooth finish. I like to keep a towel on my lap so I can 
clean my brushes between colors. Thanks for those of you who are on and watching. I am actually going to quick share this onto my Facebook page too, so people know that I'm on. I couldn't really figure out how to do the thumbnail on here either. It was really strange. I'm just, I think I'm gonna have to like definitely figure that out. All right, so after I apply my eye primer, I like to set my eye primer with just a little bit of setting powder. So I'll use my, my translucent setting powder here by Unique. So it's the Behold translucent setting powder. This setting powder is light, like seriously, it's amazing. <clears throat> and I just take a little bit on my foundation brush and just dab it right on. This helps gives it like a smooth finish. So it's not so sticky and I'm able to better move the blend the colors out of my eyes from the eyeshadow. <clears throat> I kind of feel like listening to some music too, so. Sorry, I just shared this video to my Facebook page. And let's see here. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Splurge Cream Eyeshadow. This is a sparkly black eye cream eyeshadow. It's um, called S S uh, Skeptical. Let's see, let me see here. I'm using my cream eyeshadow brush. So this is skeptical. It's like a shimmery black. Very, very pretty. I'm going to use this because I'm going to do like a smoky eye look. So I'm going to start off with this all over my lid. And I'm not going to bring it any further than my crease. And I really love that it has a sparkle to it too. It kind of gives it like that rock star look. And these cream shadows that I'm using, they dry to like a powder finish. So they're really easy to blend out. All right, so that's about as far as I'm bringing it. Not bringing it up past my crease at all. And I'm going to take a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. I'm going to keep it just on the lid. So the same thing on the other side here. Then once we have it there on the lid, I'm going to take my uh, pencil brush, or it's the Unique Crease Brush, which is this brush right here. And I'm just going to blend this line, and I'm going to kind of just keep moving up past my crease. So I'm kind of smudging it out is the way that I'm smoking it out. And you might have to be a little patient here. So 
So it might take a while for it to blend out the way you want it to. But you don't want to really um, use any more product than you have to. You could do like a windshield wiper motion. I'm just kind of going in sections here. See how it's starting to smoke out? So that color is slowly and gradually coming up to be a little bit more smoky. See how this line is more defined? This one is a little less defined and more blurred. Again, like I said, right here, you'll have to just be patient it is gonna take some time to move that color around, but you don't really wanna add any more product because you don't wanna have it look like you've got a black eye. So there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side as well. So I'm just gonna smudge out this harsh line here. Have it nice and smoky. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a another eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take some red it's actually a liquid lipstick, and I'm going to put it right under here and smoke that out underneath. Okay. I think I've got it almost to where I want it. So there we go, we're gonna stop right there. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take, I was thinking I might do the, um, one of our brand new lip powders. Actually, we have these amazing new lip powders right now. These are on a customer deal, customer special right on my website. Comes with three different uh, lip powders, casual, Curvaceous and Captivating. Casual is like a rose colored. Um, curvaceous is a beautiful red with like some gold tones in it. Like 
the light has to hit it a certain way. It looks really beautiful. And then um, Captivating is a berry color, but they're actually powders. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell here, but you might be able to see how it dusted out as like powder right on my skin right there. But once you um, apply it to the lip, it actually turns into like a cream. So you get that and it's creamy. I'll show you here right in the container. You could see the powders falling down. Do you see that? Isn't that crazy? But it turns into a cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply this to my to the back of my hand here, like I'm swatching it. And I'm going to take that crease brush and just swirl it around into the product on the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply that right down here to my lower lash line. And I'm trying to keep it like hugged as much as possible. And then we'll go in and smoke it out a little bit. So just like that. I'm going to use my towel and clean off my brush just a little bit. And then I'll pull it this way. Just a little bit. I'm kind of creating like an underwing. I'm also going to take my, this is my eyeliner in the color, what color is this? This is Precarious. It's like a dark navy blue. You could go black for this, but I'm just going to do blue. I like the way that it makes my eyes pop. Oops. I just uh, sharpened it and I had some sharpening still on there. So I'm just going to pop that right in my waterline here. those off for a minute. All right, so I've got the blue popped in there. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. This is the Epic, the Moodstruck Epic Mascara by Unique. It is a curling mascara. Again, all of these products you can get from my website, which is in the banner. 
on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you're enjoying this video. Also doing my lower lash line, or my lower lashes, with the same mascara. I like to do more than one coat. We do have a lash serum, which is amazing, by the way. My lashes have gotten so long since I started using the lash serum by Unique. You could get um, the lash serum actually and a mascara in a duo together and save 10%. So if you are in even need of some amazing lashes, I definitely suggest checking that out. There we go with the lash, the mascara. Lashes look great. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of brightening under my eye and clean up here with uh, some concealer. Concealer might be in this box here. Yep. All right, there we go. All right, so this is. Scarlet Concealer, it's the lightest concealer. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on the back of my hand, warming it up. And I'll use my concealer brush and we'll brighten up the under eye since we've got the smoky eye going on. I'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit. Now, kind of help clean it up too. Take any extra product and blend it in other places where you can use some highlighting, like right down the nose. Right in the forehead. I don't know. Tell her I'll get back to her when I'm done. Probably in like 20 minutes. All right. So I cleaned up on one side. I 
I just flip the brush over and do a little bit of buffing with the powder. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm using the same concealer I have in the back of my hand, swirling it with a concealer brush. Do the other eye. Thank you for those of you who are watching. Welcome, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Brand new here. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and like, spread some love. I'm also bringing the highlighter up on the brow bone too, so if you have excess highlighter, it's fine to put it in other places where you could use some extra highlighting. A little bit of this concealer goes a very long way, so just remember that. I'm just going to take the other side and buff it all out. I'm not gonna put any more blush on my blush brush because I already have blush on there, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take my iridescent cream highlighter here. This is a prismatic white color. This is gonna give me that really like dewy glow everywhere. So I'm just gonna drop this very lightly in different spots, like right on the um, highest point of the cheekbone here and just blend that in with my finger. That'll give you that really pretty glow. A little bit on the nose. A little bit on the lips. A little bit down the nose. I like to add a little extra at the cupid's bow. I really like the way highlight looks on the cupid's bow. There we go. All right, and then for this uh, look, I think I'm gonna actually do a red lipstick. I'm gonna start off with. I think I'm gonna do hmm, this 
Stubborn is like a cherry red or a blue red. I really like the way blue reds look on my lips. So I'm going to do the Stubborn Liquid Lipstick here and my popular red lip liner. Maybe, where's my... It needs to be sharpened, so here's my sharpener. So with red lipstick, it's always a good idea to outline your lips first, so I'm going to do that first. So I have my lips outlined here. Hello. And I'm going to go in with Stubborn, which is the cherry red liquid lipstick, Splash Liquid Lipstick by Unique. And it goes on like a mousse texture, but it dries to a matte finish. It's kind of nice too because ah, the applicator has like a precision tip. I don't know if you can see that. So you can line your lipstick really well with that. It really gives it a little bit more. It makes it more easy to use anyways. And then what I'm going to do last is I'm going to top it with Lethal Lip Gloss so it'll give me like a really glossy look. So there is our finished look. I hope you like it. Here's our little, um, they're like little red roses or something. Little red rose cat ears that I found at Claire's. It was so cute. But yeah, this is our finished look. So this is a smoky eye. It does have like some red underneath. It's not showing up very well in the video. With a liquid red lipstick and a red gloss top. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and um, hopefully, I don't know, I might do a little bit, I might do more lives on YouTube depending, um, but you can always come back and check. I upload new videos every Monday, so please hit the subscribe button, like, leave me a comment um, if you'd like to see something and yeah, go check out my other videos. So thanks for stopping and watching today. Talk to you guys later. Bye.